Air pollution is a global problem. While this diagram is a snapshot at a very specific point in time, air pollution can typically be worse over developing nations. However, due to winds, these pollutants can blow across to other countries and impact on their air quality as well. Air pollution can result from two sources. Primary air pollutants result from direct emissions into the atmosphere, while secondary air pollutants are a result of reactions between primary pollutants and other chemicals in the atmosphere. Several air pollutants exist. These include carbon monoxide and dioxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia, volatile organic carbons, ozone, persistent organic pollutants, particulate matter, as well as heavy metals. Carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are greenhouse gases which contribute to the warming of the atmosphere. Other hydrocarbons can also be air pollutants, as they too can contribute to global warming, as well as photochemical smog. Nitrogen and sulfur oxides form between interactions with oxygen at high temperature. Nitrogen oxides are also greenhouse gases, but can also cause difficulty in breathing. Sulfur and nitrogen oxides can also lead to acid rain. Ozone in the troposphere, the lowest level of the atmosphere, is a secondary air pollutant which results in photochemical smog. Ozone in the upper layers of the atmosphere, stratospheric ozone, is an essential component that screens UV radiation and helps protect the planet. However, this ozone can be destroyed by other man-made pollutants. Particulate matter is solid or liquid particles suspended in the air. These may contain materials which are toxic to us or may simply become lodged in our lungs. Particulate matter could include soil particles, soot, lead, asbestos, sea salt, or even sulfuric acid droplets. Photochemical smog is a brownish-orange haze formed by various chemical reactions. Nitric oxide, carbon dioxide, and other hydrocarbons react in the atmosphere and result in ozone, formaldehyde, and nitric acid, all which form photochemical smog. All these air pollutants can lead to serious health effects. These include respiratory tract issues, headaches, fatigue or drowsiness, burning eyes, and even death. It is important to note that these pollutants are not only outdoors, can be 5 to 100 times more concentrated indoors. These can result from various sources, including household chemicals, cigarette smoke, or other household objects. As engineers, it is important to minimize pollution emitting from industrial sites. One way of controlling air pollution is by using an electrostatic precipitator. Dirty gas enters the bottom of the smokestack, and a combination of a positive wall and negative electrode results in dust collecting on the walls, which can be later removed in a collector. A clean gas then exits at the top of the precipitator. A second piece of equipment to control air pollution is a scrubber. Dirty gas enters the bottom, and liquid water or other solvent is sprayed over the gases. As the gas rises through the unit, clean air is moved from the top, while dirty water can be collected at the bottom. This dirty water can then be collected and purified.